We've had a damp start to the day. It's been a little bit challenging on the roads. Angela Foster's been talking about that all morning. Now it's just cloudy. We had the rain off and on. We don't see any drops on the windshield just yet now, but we did have, and I say the windshield, on the uh, camera lens, <laughs> but you were certainly seeing some on your windshield if you were moving out and around. We've been seeing the uh, outer edges now, the northerly fringe of Debbie moving into the region. We've been seeing it across southern portions of the state, lower eastern shore, southern Maryland. This is the reason why. Debbie made a second landfall this morning, uh, probably now about uh, 10 miles or so to the south of Charleston and we're going to be seeing that center of circulation moving to the north and northwest. It's only been moving at around five miles per hour and that's been the biggest problem. It has a lot of moisture with it. It brought that moisture with it from uh, the Atlantic and now moving so slowly wherever it's been. It's been dumping that rain very slowly and just steadily and has not been moving. Now it will pick up speed as it starts to make that turn heading up to the mid-Atlantic. So today what we're watching and through Saturday morning, periods of soaking rain. The heaviest rain will be this afternoon, and we're talking anytime after about 3 o'clock or so, right on through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Two to five inches of rain with some localized areas up to about seven, and that will be west of, say, the Beltway. We're talking from Frederick County on out to uh, Washington, Allegheny and Garrett counties. Your hour by hour takes our temperatures only from the mid 70s up to about 80 degrees and then that heavier rain starts to move on in. Let's talk about the severe threat today. It's not really so much in southern Maryland. We're talking about the flood potential. The biggest flood potential will come from the rain. We're not talking about a storm that's coming up the bay with a storm surge. That's not this type of a storm. It's coming in from the west. So the flash flooding and the flood potential is primarily west of again the the 70 corridor and straight out. We do have some coastal flooding as a result of these easterly winds and that will be down around the eastern shore and around Annapolis. So again, that is going to be right on through Saturday morning. We've been down on your corner in Annapolis with those sandbags uh, being distributed. So again, we will continue to time this out for you throughout our show this morning. Just know that today the rain gets heavier as we get into the afternoon.